Hi everyone, this is Kathy Gerskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and today I'm doing the first in a series of working in your practice in QuickBooks Online Accountant. Today's video is how to use QuickBooks Online Accountant and working with your clients. Now this is going to be a high level overview. This will probably also be a little bit longer video, probably around eight minutes or so. So I hope you will stick with it because I've got a lot of information I want to show you today. I'm going to basically show you three areas of QBOA. We're going to be talking about working with the overview tab, the bookkeeping tab, and the payroll tab. I'm also going to talk a little bit about adding clients as well and working with the client switcher up here. So the first thing we're going to talk about is when we actually log into our QuickBooks Online Accountant account or our QBOA account, then it opens up into this clients tab here. In the clients tab, like I said, we've got three tabs here, overview, bookkeeping, and payroll. So when it opens up into the overview tab, you can see all your clients here, including all those that are not connected by QuickBooks Online, such as the We Foundation here and the Hector Garcia. And by the way, this is a sample file or sample realm, so none of this is real stuff. It's just for demo purposes only. All those that are connected by QBO through the firm have these little symbols next to them. Now, if you click on any of these, this will take you into the file. You can also go up here to the client switcher and enter any of those from there. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and enter into Rock Castle Construction using the QB symbol, and that will take us right to that firm. So now we are in our QuickBooks Online Rock Castle Construction LLC company within our firm. And we do have the accounting tools that we can work with this file because we're signed in as an accountant user. We can do all sorts of things in there, but I want to go ahead and switch back to our practice, which you can do using the client switcher. And that'll take us back to the screen that we were once in. Okay, so we are back in the overview tab now. I'm going to go over here to add client. Now, one thing about adding client is that if you are affiliated with a QuickBooks Solutions provider, then you might want to work with them instead of using the add client, but certainly this is worth talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that so you can see. This is basically if you have a client that has not subscribed or signed up for QuickBooks Online, you can go ahead and do that for them. Now, there's basically three different ways that you can do that are three different billing options. We have the Pro Advisor discount, which means that we will actually be billed for that client if we want to take on that responsibility. A lot of people do not want to do that. So the next thing that they end up opting for is doing the direct discount for the client. Now the client is billed for this, but they do get a discount and these discounts change on a regular basis. But you can always see what the latest discount is by looking in this area when you're looking to sign someone up. There's also this new thing called Revenue Share, which you actually have to sign up for that. And then there's a little link you can click here for a pop out to find out more. Well, let's assume that we're going to sign up our client for a direct discount. You have to go up here to the top and you have to at least put in the business name and the email to get this started. The rest of the stuff you can always add later. Of course, the more that you add up front, the better it is if you can, but it's not necessary. You can also assign team members here. And if you don't see all your team members up here, you can click on that link to see all the rest of them that you might want to add. We're going to go ahead and close that up. So I want to show you, you can subscribe them to any of these levels of subscription here. And you can also add a payroll product to that to bundle your services So say like if you wanted to select plus and then you want to add a payroll bundle you can go in here and maybe do premium or something and that will put those on there and you can see how much that they will be billed for that and then you can also check that to make you the primary admin which most of the people that I work with recommend that you do that. So then you can always transfer that primary admin if you have to. And we're not going to actually complete that, but I just wanted you to know that the, this option was there. So we're going to go ahead and leave this and that's going to take us back to our overview tab. So that is the end of the overview tab. Let's go ahead and switch over to the bookkeeping tab real quick. Okay, so now we're in the bookkeeping tab and what this actually does is list all of our clients that are connected to our firm with a QuickBooks Online account. And this is basically 
to help us keep track of the books review process. Now each of these little areas right here you can't really see because it hasn't really been done but each of these little areas if you click on them will take you into the workflows that you would need to complete in order to be successful to keep your books current starting with a transaction review and if you click on this link right there that will take you into the company but we're not going to do that right now. So what I'm going to do is tell you that each of these three areas that are right here correspond with transaction review, account reconciliation, and final review. Okay, so anyway, this will help you keep track of your clients where they're at in the process of books review and help you keep on top of it. This drop down here next to each of these clients will enable you to create the tax return or you can make that client inactive if you're no longer working with them. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the payroll area right now. And so the payroll area shows you all the clients that are connected to some sort of payroll product. And right now the only one that looks like they are is this Rock Castle Construction. It shows you when the next pay date is, where the setup process is for that client, how many tax payments might be due, and how many tax filings that are due. And you can actually go in here and click on edit client and that will take you to the payroll center. If you click on this drop down here, you can also make that client inactive just like you could in the bookkeeping tab. So let's go back to the overview page now. And basically that's all I have to show you for today. I hope you find this helpful. Next week I'm going to talk about working with your team, which is this area right here. So anyways, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Y'all take care and we will see you soon. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.